<coughs> Is this thing on? Greetings, my fellow mammals. Congratulations for being chosen to participate in this momentous occasion. Thank you for coming. My name is Raynard. You may know me as Raynard the Fox. I want to tell you about a very great evil that threatens our land. I call them the Martians. Martians? Are they the little green people from Mars? <clears throat> what? No, shut up, rabbit. Martians are from the marsh. Where else would they be from? They aren't known for their intelligence, but they make up for it with their bad tempers. <clears throat> okay, so maybe my future isn't in voice acting. This is Louis T here with another whiteboard drawing video. I haven't done one of these in quite some time. Uh, this particular drawing I spent uh, five evenings actually doing the drawing and uh, recording the video. Um, it has also taken quite a long time to narrate and troubleshoot the software problems I'm having. Um, to uh, save the video, I tried to get this video sped up um, so that it would fit in to 15 minutes. Um, so I've uh, sped up to four times normal speed, but uh, if I go any faster, it seems to give me trouble with uh, Windows Movie Maker. So this drawing is about a PC game I am making called Mammals vs. Martians. Um, I call it a first-person action role-playing game. It's, uh, it kind of combines the elements of a first-person shooter with a skill tree based role-playing game. Um, Martians are a fictional species that um, combines the characteristics of reptiles, fish, and dragons, and uh, who knows what else I'll come up with. Um, I guess technically um, I should call them Marsh Monsters, because that was my original name for them, and uh, I shortened it to Martians, and I thought that sounded catchy to uh, see uh, mammals versus Martians. So yes, I am subscribing to the versus um, thing that so many games and movies are doing nowadays. I wanted to get back to my first hobby, which is drawing, and combine it with my other hobby, which is computer programming. Game programming, specifically. So, I'm doing another whiteboard drawing video. I hope you enjoy it. You can call it MVM if Mammals vs. Martians is too long to say. MVM has been my pet project since the middle of 2011. I've already posted a couple of videos about it on YouTube and I've also posted some screen captures and other images on Facebook. I wanted this drawing to try to capture the essence of the game, the spirit of the game, if you will. Uh, it is lighthearted and funny, but fascinating and challenging and, and hopefully a lot of fun to play. Um, I'm going to call it Child Safe. Um, there is some animated violence, but there will be no gore or harsh language. Probably not any dismemberments or, or uh, um, anything like that. We'll leave out drug references and, and uh, things that are objectionable to uh, 
people that object to things. I suppose you can object to just about anything, so I may not be able to please you. If you watch carefully, you might see my wife walk by. And also, I got a haircut while uh, between shots of this drawing video. There we go. So, uh, obviously, this took me a, a few days to draw. And even after I finished drawing and, and uh, um, videoing the, the process, um, putting all the, the video footage together and narrating takes a little bit of time as well. Uh, this is actually my uh, third or fourth take on narration. So Mammals vs. Martians is kind of a uh, capture the flag sort of uh, team uh, cooperation game. And uh, the point is to, uh, at least in one of the uh, game modes, the point will be to capture um, positions on the map and uh, try to squeeze out your competition, which is, if you're a mammal, the competition would be the Martians, the Marsh Monsters. And uh, obviously they're, they're trying to do the same thing to you as well. Uh, you might notice the, the cave. I uh, inadvertently made really um, dark and, and clear, while some of the other uh, parts of the of the drawing are not very clear at this time. Um, the cave is going to be kind of an integral part of the game because uh, there's going to be a lot of caves, a lot of places where um, it's really dark and you can't see anything unless you have some sort of ability to see in the dark or the ability to uh, produce light and so uh, regardless of whether you're a mammal or a Martian there there'll be some uh, solution to that problem um, obviously it'll be easier for Martians because the damp caves are their like uh, one of their favorable habitats also the water will be another major component of the game um, as you can see in the drawing um, that what appeared to be uh, maybe a road before is now a, a river or stream and uh, um, Martians um, have the ability to swim and and uh, breathe underwater or perhaps have gills and the mammals of course are uh, not as at home underwater so there's going to be a, a challenge there for them to be able to um, compete in that kind of environment but um, there's always going to be a solution um, and I don't want to give away too much of the details and I haven't worked out all the details yet but um, just wanted to uh, share that with you because uh, water um, movement and survival is uh, going to be um, a, a kind of a big part of the game. Maybe not the biggest part, but um, definitely something I want to implement. So as mammals come in all shapes and sizes, um, so do Martians. Um, there will be certain upgrades that you can get to be able to uh, uh, become very large or uh, perhaps uh, fly and uh, there's a, a few different body types of, of Martians as well as mammals and uh, each will have its own distinct advantages and disadvantages and uh, um, I haven't yet decided whether or not you the player will be able to switch freely between the different options or if once they've chosen one they will be stuck um, however the way I'm designing the game 
it, it there will be the option to predefine a uh, level up ladder. So you choose your skills and, and abilities that you want to gain and increase um, at some point in the, you know at the beginning or at any time perhaps during the game and then as you um, progress you automatically get the level ups that you uh, uh, chose to begin with uh, in the order that you chose them and if for some reason you aren't able to um, get something then you just you wait until you are and then that's when you get it and uh, so there's certain um, things that will will change your character in in various ways and you will uh, have to make it you know choose your your level ups wisely and in the order that you would want to receive them so as you can see um, there's also uh, offensive abilities like um, the Martian that can uh, shoot his tongue out um, as a weapon and also um, there will be certain items in the game perhaps like uh, weapons also that um, if you can s I'm not sure if it shows very well on the video right now but uh, the fox is holding um, like a sling sort of weapon and I chose that because it seems like that particular weapon isn't represented very um, often in video games. So I just thought I would um, put that in there um, so that creatures don't necessarily have to use their innate abilities only. There are certain uh, items that you can use to uh, manipulate your environment and uh, defeat your enemies. So the first time I colored in the fox with red, I actually chose the wrong marker, and it was a kind of a hot pink uh, color. It it wasn't too far off from from the red, but um, it ended up looking like a not very masculine fox. Um, so anyway, I uh, I recolored it with the red. Um, but you can still see a hint of of that uh, pink color. So I definitely want to do more drawing videos. I really enjoy them. And uh, I will work them in between other videos of perhaps gameplay um, demonstrating, demonstrating the Mammals versus Martian gameplay, and uh, maybe other kinds of videos also. Um, drawing videos seem to be the most popular kind I have posted, and I have posted a variety of different kinds. Um, maybe I will uh, license some music sometime and uh, play in the, the background of, of future videos so you don't have to listen to me stutter and um and uh my way through the whole video. Um, I know my voice is kind of nasal and I drone on and on about things you may or may not care about. So thanks for listening. I don't want to give away too much about Mammals vs. Martians. Uh, partly because I haven't definitely decided on some of the game concepts. Um, the main idea, though, is to make a unique game that is fun and creative and has many years of playability. I will post more about it in the future. If you want to keep updated on Mammals vs. Martians, you can like it on Facebook, where I post news and images, and I link these videos. Uh, go to facebook.com forward slash mammals versus. I will put a link in the description. Congratulations if you are still watching. 
and thank you so much for watching my video. This is your obligatory reminder to click like and or subscribe, whichever combination seems most appropriate to you. Like lets me know that you like this particular video, and subscribe lets you know when I post a new video. Um, to actually get emailed every time I post, you may have to subscribe and then click the little gear icon um, to show that option. Thanks again for watching.